Well, I think spring is finally here in Southern Maryland. Uh, today we are spreading uh, fertilizer on some corn ground. I took a load of uh, soybeans uh, into Baltimore this morning. Uh, Purdue has a facility up there. Uh, it's called their Curtis Bay facility. It's uh, in the port of Baltimore. Uh, soybeans are up. Um, oh, I don't know, 50 cents a bushel in the last uh, three weeks, I believe. So, of course, there were plenty of trucks in there this morning. Uh, there were probably a half a dozen waiting to be unloaded ahead of me. Um, but it didn't take me long to get in and out of there. Uh, so then I came down from Baltimore, stopped in uh, Charlotte Hall at the fertilizer uh, facility at uh, Kirby Agra. And when I pulled in there at, oh, I guess it was 1030, there was there were no trucks in there whatsoever. And I thought, what the hell is wrong? A beautiful day like this, everybody should be out uh, spreading fertilizer, picking up chemicals to spray. Well, I found out what was wrong once I got in there. Uh, they were out of fertilizer. Uh, they had a run first thing in the morning, uh, so they were waiting on some trailer loads of fertilizer. Uh, so I know some of the guys at Hall Fertilizer, they were ahead of me in line in Baltimore dumping soybeans, so they were headed over to get fertilizer when they left there. So I didn't have to wait long, maybe 15 minutes for the first trailer to show up with some potash so they could put my mixture together, uh, the fertilizer that I needed. They blend it right there on the facility, um, you know, whatever you need, whether you need a 5, 13, 23, or you know, any kind of combination, they blend what you want. So uh, we got 11 ton here in the truck. I've got Zach on the tractor spreading, uh, and I'm using the front end loader to take it out of the dump truck, dump it into the spreader. Uh, so that's uh, working pretty good for us. Um, so we'll uh, keep you updated, uh, but that's what we have going on today. Uh, I do have Jeffrey on another farm. He's doing some tillage uh, for me. Um, so we are in full swing here in Southern Maryland. So I will try to update you uh, as the next couple of weeks go on. We'll see how it goes. See ya. Okay, just uh, one more quick update. I uh, Just as soon as I turn the camera off, the last time I got a warning here on my phone, uh, we are, uh, this is from Weatherbug, a fire weather warning has been issued. It will expire at 8 p.m. Uh, this evening. So there is a breeze going. Uh, things are uh, are dry at the moment. Um, we've, we've almost gone from too wet to too dry in a couple days time, but that usually happens at this time of the year. Uh, but yes, so we are under a um, fire weather warning. Not quite sure I've seen that warning before, but that's my government uh, protecting me from me. It's kind of like making me wear a seatbelt when who does that protect? It's protecting me from me. A fire weather warning. I, I, that seems like a dumb warning, but everybody has a smartphone now, so the government can send out any type of warning they want. Um, if you haven't noticed by now, I'm not a huge fan of government, so uh, I'm not voting for Bernie Sanders or Hillary, by the way. Uh, okay, so see ya this time for real.